Lesson 57, we want to discuss about price action trading. This is something that you have, maybe you have never heard, but let me take this opportunity to introduce you to price action trading. When we speak of price action trading, there are two types of traders, and I will tell you, uh, you will comment down below and tell me which trader you think you are. So there are those traders who will go to daily time frame, weekly time frame, monthly time frame for our 15 minutes, like people choose the time frame they want to trade. For me, mostly when I'm doing maybe back testing, I like checking from the daily. Why? Because of course, from the weekly and monthly, if I don't have a pattern, I'm checking on daily, at least it tells me exactly what happened during that day. So my favorite time frame is daily because once weekly uh, it's considered on, um, once weekly candle is closed, there's nothing I can do on in, in the next five days. Once a monthly candle closes, there's nothing I can do, but daily, keep changing. Today we can have a buy confirmation after two days, a sell confirmation. So I think for me, my favorite time frame is daily time frame. So we are on a daily time frame and I want to tell you there are these two kind of people. So there is um trader A. So there's the trader A and we have trader B. So trader A, they are so much focused on where the market is going. So I want you to comment down below and tell me are you trader A who focuses on where the market is going? So trader A, their focus is where the market is going or headed. So their work is to, what do we have? Do we have a double top? Do we have a double bottom? They are so much focused with where the market is going. Trader B, they are so much focused with where the market is coming from where the market is coming from. So I want you to just comment down below before I tell you what I think with, between the trader A or trader B. Where do you think you are? Are you trader A or you, you trader B? Do you really focus to where the market is going or do you put your mind where the, where the market is coming from? What is the benefit to know where the market is going and what are the benefits to know where the market is coming from? Let me tell you, majority, 99% of traders, they are here. 99% are here. Everyone wants to know where the market is going, they, where it is going. Nobody cares to understand what the market is, what the market is doing. Nobody wants to care. So everyone is so, so focused with where is the market going? And they will try to do all the analysis. They'll try to do all the analysis to try to understand where is the market going. And that is 99%. I've told you 99% care where the market is going to. But there is the percentage of 1%. This 1%, they want to know the history. They are so interested with the history. They don't want, um, they don't want not only to know where the market is going, they want to know the story. And let me tell you, if you want to be a professional trader, a profitable trader, I want you to join the 1%. Let me not even say, we, we said here we are 5%. So let me change this, 95%. They don't know, they always want to know where the market is going. And as I told us, if because we are the more free, we come here to learn from more free, uh, Esther more free, we are the 5%. Automatically, you are the 5%. So from now, henceforth, I move you from the 95%, the traders who want to know where the market is going, and I pull you to where the market is coming from. I want to pull you. So every time you open the chart, Every time you open your chart, the first question you ask yourself, yes, this is my daily time frame, but where is the market coming from? If you know the story of this market, it is easier for you to trade. So let me show you. We are now getting into the, we are getting into the topic of today. So let me delete everything. So you know, already you have commented, uh, did you concern yourself with where the market is going or did you concern yourself with where the market has come from? So 
the 95% traders, what they do, they come to this area and they want to know what is happening to this market. What is it? What is really happening to this market? So they start saying, we have a resistance zone around here, one candle resistance. This market might form a double top. So for me, I will be looking for sale. Already they have, they have, um, they have judged the market. I'm looking for a sell and finger closed. I don't want the double top to break, but even if that double top breaks or get violated, I still have another chance of this double top. So this person is hoping and praying for where the market will be going to which is very hard. So they are thinking if this market breaks here, it is coming here and my chances are I'll start trading this sale. And that's why you see most of the time when you're trading, most of the time when you're trading and your focus is where the market is going to, that's why you get frustrated because you have not understood this market. You have not understood. You don't have any relationship with your chart. Right now, I want to train you how to have a relationship with your chart. When you have a very good relationship with your chart, there is nothing that can come from your back. Everything will be laid very open in your eyes to see. So any kind of a movement, you'll be able to spot it quickly. So instead of us focusing on what, where the market will go to, can we focus on where the market has been? Has been. Where is this market coming from? So that is our first focus. So the market is here. Here is where the price is. But where is it coming from? We can see it has been going up and it is coming from this end. Can you see? So we want to understand, do we have a double bottom? What is it a pattern? What really made this market to go up from this area? So we have understood that our market has this high and it has this low. So from the low, that's where our market is coming from. So even if we want to know the market structure of this pattern, knowing and understanding where the market is coming from, automatically this is an uptrend. Because if the market is coming from the downside, from, res from support, automatically is an uptrend. So already we have understood that our market structure is an uptrend. And if the market is an uptrend, we are trying to look for a buy opportunity. So the minute now you understand that this market has started to create an uptrend and you're looking for buy opportunity, what happens? You stop checking for, you stop checking for what? For sales. Because if you only focus on where the market will go, you'll start seeing the obstacles to make the market sell. So I just want to change you up the way you view the market. So the, the minute you see these areas, they are not of importance. Why? Because the upper hand is a buy. So there's no way you can say the market can just be stopped by these two areas. So already we have identified that the market is on a market structure. Uh, it's on an uptrend because When now we check for the price action, when you're checking for the price action, I hope you're still sharing the correct thing. When you are, I have told you, we were checking the uptrend market structure. And why are we so interested with the uptrend? Why are we so interested with the uptrend? It's because we are the 5%. We don't focus on where the market is going. We focus on where it is coming from. So you have understood it's a market, the market structure is a natural. We go to the price action. If you just check the price action between the green candles and the red candle, which one are the majority? The green candle. So previous, for the past how many days? One, two, three, four, five. For the past five days, the market is a strong bullish uh, market. The price action is a buy. So of course, the market structure and the price action are talking the same thing. So the market is still buying. Again, now we understood that the market is buying. 
The last thing is the pattern. So from where we stand, where did, why did this market start to go up? What really made this market all of a sudden to buy? So we can understand that the market bought after breaking a very major support area. What really made this market after it breaks a very major support? You can see the market has broke. The market started to buy. If we check on this left side, we don't have anything. Can you see? We don't have anything. But if we go and check on a higher time frame, because this is daily, and we see, did the market break the same area? Can you see we don't have a break? So this was just like a fake breakout. It was a fake breakout. You can see this zone has been tested, has been tested for a long time. So at the end of the day, how now would you trade this market? How would you trade this market? Having an understanding that the market broke a support area on daily, but did not break on weekly. And then the market is going on an uptrend and overall on the weekly, it's a, it's a ranging kind of a market that's arranging. It's a ranging market. So what I want to show you is that there is a pattern I have never taught here. I think I have taught. There's a pattern we call head and shoulder. Let me see if I can get that pattern. There is a pattern we call held and shoulder. Head and shoulder pattern. Where is it? It's where? Head and shoulder pattern, where are you? So there's that pattern we call head and shoulder. I think I'll just use my kit is here, this one. So this is the shoulder, guys. You see, we are still going back to what the market has been doing. We are not interested with the other market is. I'm still going back to understand what is the market doing. Then I have the head. Can you see the head? So let me start again. I have. So this is the shoulder. And then I have the head. Can you see the head, guys? The head. So when, when the head was completing, this is the time uh, they attempted to go back to the, that neckline. And then now we have the left shoulder. So what happens mostly is that you can see there was attempting of the head to complete, but it didn't complete. So this is the time they completed and now we are at the right shoulder. So most probably the market will come down. So with an understanding of a pattern that you're using for the market to sell, it's very easy. So from a, a perspective of weekly, we, we might have this pattern, a head and shoulder pattern, and we are analyzing Eurocard. When you go to daily, when you go to daily, now understanding that the market might be coming down because of that head and shoulder pattern. You can see it is very clear, head and shoulder pattern. And the fact that the market broke, you see the market broke support, meaning the, this sell can still come down. The, 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 when the market sells support and buy, I call it ADS, after deep retracement of the market, retraces it comes back that's a strategy that i teach in my class ads so ads means after deep retracement, in this market most probably it will come down now the thing is the first thing that we need is a pattern on daily and from where i'm seeing now you you understand why you are even you want a sell you understand why you want a sell number one the market broke our support. Number two, we have a head and shoulder pattern. Number three, the reason why we can have a sell is if this market does not break. If the market break here, we might have a, a, a double top. And this double top, this double top, if we check it very closely, it is not on the weekly. So let's check 
on that double top if it is on the weekly. It's not on the weekly, meaning that double top is our safe heaven. Like that is the safe heaven we want. If that double top um, act, get activated, that is what we are looking for. So by the end of the day, you can see there are so many things that are helping us to be able to sell this market. If this candle breaks like this, if this candle breaks like that, they can come and activate this double top that is still on the weekly. So our entry will not be on the daily, but will be on the weekly time frame. So it's our prayer, the daily candle not to break. So I just want to give you how you do analysis on the pure price action. So because now you understand that these are double top, you will just use BWA. So to what I want you to do is you go and open your your euro card on the daily. And we are hoping today the candle, this green candle that you're seeing can either turn red and bearish and gulf, or you're just waiting for a red candle. So you will even measure half. We'll come here and measure half. And guys, this is our half of that double top. So if this double top breaks, we only can trade it using weekly. So the only chance we have, and it has RBS, the only chance we have is the previous candle, the candle that is there, not to do what? This candle that is there, not to break like that. Anyway, guys, that is the price action. Always when you have a chart, don't focus on where the market is going to, focus on where it is coming from. Because we understand that there was this break. The, this break is very, very important. How could the market break here and not um and not give us an entry? Another way to enter when the market has broke is if it breaks current support break. So if this cell can come down and start breaking our current support break, it's an indication that that retracement is done. So as as long as the market breaks our support, this buy is considered as a retracement. That is something I will teach you for you to understand. When a market breaks a support or a, when the market breaks a support or a resistance, and then it is start going back, that going back, it's called a retracement. So we can consider this as a retracement so that once the market finishes, it comes down. So we have three reasons why we are hoping for a sale. This double top, if it won't break, the market breaking our support and the head and shoulder pattern. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you will add Eurocard in your watch list. Start watching it. And once something happens, you will be able to know which direction you will take. Thank you so much, guys. All the best. Love you.